Okay guys, we are going to put the finishing touches on our strawberry shortcakes. They are so cute. We have the bath bomb layer here at the bottom. Then we have the bubble frosting right here. And then we're gonna finish it off on top with a melt and pour strawberry. And I've already kind of like dry fit, fitted these to the top, but I wanted it to completely dry out first before we put the strawberry on because the moisture in the frosting would affect the melt and pour. And so I didn't want that. Okay, so now we're just gonna take some of our melted soap base here and we're gonna put a little bit on top and this will secure our strawberry right there. Okay, so that's first. So we're gonna secure all the strawberries to the top. And I'm just trying to make sure I got a, an angle on these that I like. I know, it's very anal. But you know how us artists are. Okay, so I like that position. So I'm going to do the same thing. Just pour a little bit on top here. And stick that on. Perfect. So like I said, I did not do this before because I wanted to let my bubble frosting dry. See, that's hard nice and hard. These have to ship so it'll make sure that that dried out underneath all around and then the final touch is to add my strawberry and I'm just going to make sure this sits right on top kind of like that. I'm going to do a little bit more I'm trying to get a nice build up of that and I'm just letting it spill off the sides as it would if it were a real strawberry drizzle and the soap is scented and fresh strawberry from nature's garden the red is a red 40 from nurture soap and the frosting i leave unscented because sometimes sweet fragrances can darken up and I didn't want that. See, I didn't fit that the way I wanted that to be on there first. There we go. Okay. So that's pretty good. So now, my final Okay, so another thing I wanted to point out was um, when I made my melt and pour strawberries I did wrap them in a little cellophane here or a clean wrap. And this is the strawberry that you can see that I actually did the fitting with. So I just piped it as I would normally and then put the strawberry on top to about, you know, pressed it down to about the point that I thought it looked nice and then took it off so that they could dry completely. And then I kept it, kept the rest of the strawberries wrapped into this plastic so that they wouldn't start to sweat because that's what melt and pour tends to do sometimes. And I wanted to show you guys the mold. This is the mold that makes these beautiful strawberries. So this is a pretty, as you can see in my hand, pretty nice size mold, love it. And so now the final, final bit here will be to add a little additional drizzle on the side. So I'm just gonna go around and I don't wanna drizzle on top of the strawberry just kind of like around the sides you know to give it that strawberry syrup look okay so not too much okay i'm gonna do a little bit on this side here just letting it run down naturally as it would And a little bit on this back one here. 
Letting it run down the sides. Beautiful. Looking all delicious. It actually smells delicious too, guys. The soap is actually scented with the strawberry. I do have strawberry fragrance oil in the soap which in, and in the bath bomb, just not in the frosting. All right. And that's all she wrote. That's the final touch. I'm gonna let them dry and then I'm gonna package them up. So you can see that it looks like, so you can see that looks like delicious strawberry. Yeah. Okay, so this was just a fun little video that I wanted to show you some little details on how we put together our sweet treat bath and body goods. Um, definitely subscribe if you want to see some more videos like this. These will be available online at www.tiresessentials.com to purchase. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.